In 1997, Robert Zemeckis' Contact tried unsuccessfully to contact its audience. The U.S. production with costs of $90 million made in America just a little more than its budget back. It was, despite mostly positive feedback, no commercial success, but is highly regarded among fans and some scientists. It's considered one of the best hard science fiction, a branch characterized by scientific accuracy and logic ever, much like Gettica. Contact by Carl Sagan. Read by Jody Foster. By human standards, it could not possibly have been artificial. It was the size of a world. Contact is a 1985 published novel by astronomy and writer Carl Sagan, whose plot corresponds in the main points with the adaptation. In 1979, he developed together with his future wife and Ruyan a treatment for a film about the first contact with aliens. As the basic ideas threatened to be diluted by revisions, Sagan began in 1982 to process his ideas in the later bestseller. It is extremely exciting and a true treasure trove for people who have a passion for science, theology, and philosophy. When the project was clear, Sagan and Durian were again involved, so that the ultimately resulting movie is very close to their original ideas. Ellie became a scientist after the early death of her mother and the loss of her father, for whose death she feels responsible. Due to the lack of showable success and the high costs, her former mentor deletes the funding of the CITY project, in which she was searching for extraterrestrial signals. Is it true? I know you can't you see it now, plug? but I'm doing you a favor. Oh, You're far great. too promising. By support from a rich industrialist, she continues her research in New Mexico with the coupled radio telescopes of the very large area and is able to receive a coded radio signal from the star Vega. The signal consists of a sequence of prime numbers and contains not only TV pictures from the opening speech of the Olympic Games in 1936, but also the blueprint for a machine that is suspected it can manage to transport a person to the sender. A commission should identify a suitable candidate for the transport. Dr. Arroway gets rejected as a representative of the world's population, as the commission considers an agnostic unsuitable to represent a supposedly in majority believing mankind. I don't really understand the point of the question. Uh, I consider myself a moral person. I'm sure we all agree that is the case, but I think what Mr. Joss is in fact asking... Do you believe in God? During a test run, the machine, along with her competitor, gets destroyed by a suicide bombing of a religious fanatic. And thanks to a secretly built second machine, Ellie still gets the chance for the first contact.
Director Robert Zemeckis has with stars like Jodie Foster, Tom Skerritt or James Woods a very high class cast and draws in terms of special effects or registers in order to create a credible, realistic science fiction movie. The deservedly multi-award winning effects are sometimes so well done that they are not perceived as such. The excellent soundtrack by Alan Silvestri dubbed the epic scenes perfectly and gives the listeners a sense of wide and size. Novel and movie are both very good, but they are not identical. Ellie's family background is different from the one described in the book and was also reduced significantly. Her mother, for example, dies of old age, not during childbirth. Also, some characters from the novel are vanished, like John Stoughton, who marries her mother after her father's death. Many world political matters are only short touched upon in the movie. The novel emerged during the Cold War in the 80s, where ideas like world powers working together or a female president came of much more progressive. In the novel five people get sent to the aliens and it is for the possible existence of God much more open. Which is why I prefer the movie version. Since from my point of view science and religion should have at least two galaxies distance between each other. Contact is an incredibly well made science fiction film. Acting so down to earth that you do not even perceive it as fiction. The characters are also in the supporting roles realistically written and cast appropriately. Only the priests seem fake and came off like a compromise to be faithful to the tone of the novel that is for my taste too religious. Contact is often cited by me next to Gattaca as the prime example of a better deal with a fantastic theme. Why? Showing where it's possible actually existing technology and using the extremely elaborate effects mainly to support the realistic aspect. The movie was largely ignored in the cinema, which seems to be the fate of most truly ambitious projects that are nowadays as rare as a signal from Vega. Mm -hmm. 